Dave here, how are you? I've been asked lately how I've lost weight. Now you can see I've lost a fair bit of weight. I have maxed out at around 84 kilograms and I have lost 12. It took me 12 weeks to do it. I didn't go on to any formal diet. I just thought to myself, what will I do? How could I get past all of these fat deposits that were just slowly creeping up on I me? Mean, I didn't notice until you know, I just caught myself in the mirror one day and thought, who is that that happens so slowly? I'm going to tell you how I did it. If you want to see how I used to look, go back through my previous videos on my channel. And while you're there, subscribe, because I might show you something you might enjoy. One thing I do need to say is this diet works for me. If you want to do what I'm doing, that's totally your call. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a medical person. I've done my research and this is to the best of my knowledge and I know that it's working for me. I'm feeling very healthy. I feel great. Uh, I'm so gl glad to have lost that weight and now I don't need to wear a bra. <laughs> I don't need to wear a corset and it is me under there. And I've still got my guns. They're all good. I'm not someone who is besotted with food. I'm going to tell you what I eat every day and there's no change. I'm not a foodie. I don't eat food for the flavor of going out and having a great time. I eat food because I enjoy eating. My stomach tells me I'm hungry and I eat. So I've gone on to what I've classified as a high protein diet. I have very little carbs very little fats, I have no added sugar, I have no added salt. I have instant coffee with skim milk. Snacks during the day, I'll have almonds or maybe some walnuts. One of the things I had to do was change my habits. Now, I had a habit of every morning, I'd have a couple of eggs on toast and a coffee and off to work and then morning tea, I'd have something to eat, lunch, you know, I'd have noodles and all sorts of things, um, tea, you know, just dinner, whatever, the evening meal, a heap of whatever was going. And sandwiches. I used to eat a heap of sandwiches. What I decided to do was change my habit. I thought, all right, well, how about I reduce the amount that I eat so my stomach will start to shrink a little bit and not feel as though it's missing out. So the first week was the hardest part. Then after that, it was a piece of cake. Not that I had cake, but you know what I mean. So breakfast, I halved what I have. I have one slice of toast, wholemeal bread, and one egg fried in olive oil, and I have four cup mushrooms. After breakfast, you know, during the day in the morning, instead of having morning tea, I'll have a cup of coffee again, a handful of almonds, and that's morning tea. Then lunch, I have a meal replacement sachets. Now I have Aldi Slim and Trims. There are many different types out there. I'm not sponsored by Aldi at all. I'm just letting you know the ones that I get. I like coffee and chocolate. I do not like the vanilla and I do not like the strawberry. I hate the strawberry. It tastes terrible. Anyway, that's just me. But the chocolate and the coffee, great. I might have a 95 gram can of tuna, flavored tuna. It's got sugars and salts and everything in it as well, but there is a lot of protein and there's good fats in tuna. So that's that's lunch. Maybe in the afternoon, around about three or four o'clock, I might have another one. You know, who's to say I can't? Now these are a cheap alternative to buying lunch out. It's an economical way to get through the day. I don't feel hungry at all for the rest of the day. If again, if I feel a little bit hungry, I'll have some more almonds. I have some more almonds and I feel great. Now dinner. I am an absolute pig at dinner time, but it's what I'm eating. So I love eating skinless chicken breast. So I will have 250 grams. So I'll have one dirty big full on chicken breast. And again, I will fry that in olive oil, very, very shallow pan fried. And I will have one full zucchini and one full carrot. I dice those up, microwave those. I may have a full onion and dice it up, throw it in the pan with the chicken. And when I throw it on the plate, I will chop up a heap of walnuts and throw those on top. Soy sauce over the top of that and into it. And that's a big meal, it fills the plate. You know, I'll show you a picture of it. 
uh, then in the evening, I don't really feel like eating anything more. One of the things I have done, I've restricted the amount of alcohol that I drink now. So instead of a couple of beers a day, I will have maybe a glass of wine every second day while I'm cooking dinner. Every now and then I'll have a beer. Now, here's one of the other things. Once my body got into the habit of what it was eating then, I started losing weight. I was losing a kilogram a week on that diet. It came down pretty quickly and then just it bottomed out. So now I'm, I range between 70 to 72 kilos, depending on what I'm eating. And I'm not doing anything particular to do it. I'm not increasing exercise. I'm just doing what I do. I'm a normally an, I'm normally a pretty active person anyway, but I don't go and do push-ups or weights or anything like that. I don't go running uh, because my knees don't like it. <laughs> but, um, so I'm going to let you know just a couple of things here that might back the kind of thing I'm talking about. If you have protein, your body can basically make everything else it needs to have from protein. For my size, which is around 5'10", how much protein you need between 70 and 130 grams per day. So I'll let you know how much protein is in each one of these particular food items that I consume in a day. Bread. I have wholemeal bread and one slice is 3.6 grams of protein. I have one egg in the morning and it has per 100 grams, it's got 14 grams of protein size egg that I have, which is a 70 gram, is around 10 grams of protein. Cottage cheese. Oh, that's another thing. One of the things I like to snack on while I'm cooking dinner is cottage cheese and celery. Now that might sound really weird. As a kid, I absolutely despised celery. It was too tart. So what I do when I buy celery now, as soon as I get it home, I chop it up into lengths around about you know, six inches long, 150 mil, and give it a wash. I throw it in a sealed container full of water and pop it in the fridge overnight. The next morning I drain the water off. Now the celery becomes nice and crisp and it loses that tart taste. Dip it in cottage cheese, low-fat cottage cheese and away you go. That is really really nice. You're gonna say, Ugh, how can you do this Dave? Well it tastes great. Try it. Okay so cottage cheese. Uh, I have about 100 grams of cottage cheese a day and that's 11 grams of protein. Chicken breast, 250 grams I have a day, um, and there's 33 grams of protein per 100 grams. That is 82 grams of protein in just that 250 grams of chicken breast. Tuna, that one can of tuna that I have, 95 grams, is 17 grams of protein. Now in milk, there is around four grams of protein per 100 ml, so a litre, 40 grams, I would drink about half a litre a day, so that is 20 grams for protein. Uh, almonds, these, remember I have these snacks of almonds, I'll probably have 50 grams of those a day. Uh, there's 21 grams of protein. Uh, now it's called an incomplete protein. The almonds, mushrooms and walnuts have got an incomplete protein. I don't know what that means, but I think it's good for you. <laughs> so uh, there's 10 grams of protein there. Walnuts, I have about the same. They're less in protein, they're around 15, Percent proteins have 15 grams of protein per 100. I have about seven grams of protein out of those. Mushrooms, I have a heap of them in the morning. Um, possibly 40, maybe 50 grams. And there's three grams of protein per 100 grams. They're not high, but pretty good. They taste good. That's the important thing. Uh, so there's probably one gram, maybe two grams that I have of protein there. The Slim Trims uh, per serve. These are these um, meal replacement sachet things that I have. There's 18 grams per serve. I'll have one, maybe two of those a day. In total, I would have around 180 grams of protein per day. Low carbs, and that's the result. Now, the other thing I try and do is rid myself of any temptation in the house. I don't have peanut butter in the house. I don't have biscuits in the house. I don't have chips or any of those things that have got a whack of salt and saturated fats in them. I don't have chocolate in the house apart from these meal replacement things. If they're not there, you'll go for the next best option. And for me, again, it's almonds and what have you. 
when my body decided to start consuming the fat reserves that were on me, then I can go out now, I can go to fast food places, I can go to a fast food place and eat whatever I want, maybe once a week, and my body would not hold on to the fat. It just gets rid of it. Go back to the normal diet the next day, and away it goes. And I don't even see the scales going up. How do I know I was losing a kilo a week? First thing in the morning, get out of bed, straight on the scales. Okay, I don't have my phone, I don't have a wallet, I don't have clothes on to change the, the weight at all. So I knew every morning, and I was entering it down on a spreadsheet, I knew exactly how much I was losing per day. And that helped me as well, because that kind of reinforced, yeah, you're doing well, go team! <laughs> Try it, it works. Thanks for watching, don't forget, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel down there, wherever it is, and uh, keep on coming back. I'll see you later. Yeah, so I still got the guns. <laughs>